Hey guys, Dylan from Geek Duo here, and today I'll be bringing you my reaction to My Hero Academia Season 7, Episode 21. And I shall be saying neither the title of this episode nor the synopsis. Though I guess when you clicked on this video, I put the title of the episode in the title for this video, so I guess I should say that it's it's titled Battle Without a Quirk. But I'm not going to be touching on the synopsis. At all. But again, like I said last week, if you're watching this, you should have seen the original episode already. So I don't know why I bother. But yeah, um... In the last episode, we had the second hero mortally wounded in this war like we've had several heroes get chunk spitted out of them or some other form of damage like um Mina I couldn't remember her name for a second there she um depigmentized her left side because of overuse of her quirk which probably not a good thing um we had Hawks lose his quirk. Couple people get chunks bitten out of their t stomachs. Uh, Endeavor lose his arm. But only two have been mortally wounded. One's just straight up dead. And they're trying to revive him. And the other is dying. So, let's see what this episode shows in 3, 2, one. One, go. Also, I know this first bit is just a recap of the last episode because it came up with skip at recap, which took me straight to the opening. So, I decided to let it play, obviously. I still want to know why she sometimes has clothes on when she transforms, and sometimes she doesn't. I think it's described as her quirk acting like a second skin, so it's extremely uncomfortable to have clothes on underneath, but yeah, I think that was the explanation we were given. It's still weird. They could have, like, given her some form of bodysuit. Heck, do what Miru does. Make it out of her hair so that it transforms with her. But then I guess, like, the same thing could be said for Momo. Really, that's the only other one that really needs... It. I guess you could also say Mina so she doesn't have to worry about burning her uniform off. Every episode I see um, frames that are now no longer spoiled. Also, I saw a post saying that My Hero will have its final season in 2025. There's not enough left for a full season. Oh, one of those twices was saluting.
You know, I can't actually tell if that's meant to be a bodysuit. Now that I think of it. I don't remember if it went this much into it in the manga or if this is added for the anime. Also, I don't know what the um, first two pulses of her quirk disobeying were. The third one was because of the blood loss, but the first two I don't know what caused them. This shot was in... There, definitely, I remember that panel.
Yeah, I definitely didn't have all of that because it was very ambiguous as to whether or not she survived giving Uraraka the transfusion. But she straight up said, I lived in past tense there. And she also said, I'll give you all of my blood. Remember a couple episodes ago where I said I know where all the animation budget went for that one? Yeah, I thought this happened immediately. What's with the animation shift? Like this is... This is being animated in a completely different way to normal. That power up. And there we have the title card. <laughs> no, I think people need to see this. Just that uncontrollable rage he has for this old man. <laughs> this was wild to see the first time. He's made himself support items with super moves named after every one of his students. Well, he didn't make it, but... <laughs> this
this is the part of the opening where I'm like, I can't believe they put that in. Because there's a large chunk that shows Ahmed All Might. One thing I do love about this fight is that, yes, he is using all of the moves of his students, but his main form of fighting is actually all for one style of fighting. Get in your opponent's head, make them make a mistake that you can capitalize on. And he started that before the fight even started, when he showed up in his path. <laughs> I don't remember him having such a deep voice the last time we heard Young All Might. Spiral spikes. Is that not the exact same thing we just saw sticking out of all for one? I think this is where the story started. That day with, um, Mount Lady and Kamoi Woods. Was that Tatooine.
uh, this this episode is just great. Seeing All Might, almost like his prime, he's got his little anima, he's got his tail man. I couldn't tell what the arms were, but... Oh, Shoji, of course. <laughs> Who has multiple arms? <laughs> And end of the episode. Yep. That was just a really fun episode to watch. It started off with the sad scene between Toga and Uraka where it's very it is so much clearer in this than it was in the manga of Toga trading her life for Uraka's. Like, I don't feel like I'm spoiling much after that scene. Like, it was so much more ambiguous. We literally did not have confirmation until, I think, the second or third last chapter that Toga did not survive. Meanwhile, this is... There's still at least two big battles that still have to happen. And then the start of the epilogue. And it is already clear that Toya didn't make it out of this. And then he just had All Might going beast mode. Like... This, this was wild, seeing it the first time in the um, manga. Because you had a chapter end with All Might walking through that doorway, briefcase in hand. You then had another chapter end with All Might sticking his hand out with the briefcase, it um, transforming into something as his car did something behind him, while he stared down all for one. Then you had all the Toga stuff, which took multiple weeks to watch, well, to read through. I think at least three, maybe four. Like, yeah, it had the end of the Derby stuff with the Todoroki's, it had the fight between Uraraka and, um, what's it called? Um, Uraraka and Toga, which took a while. And then it comes back, and you just see everyone thinking that All Might's just He's just buying a couple seconds. Like what Mineta did when he um, brought All For One's attention onto him away from Tokoyami was just keep him distracted a few seconds, try to make it so that he doesn't have enough time to make it to UA. And then it turns out, no. No, he had a plan. He went into that fight not expecting to lose. And yeah, he did. Sure, he's got. He's taken substantial damage. But he has made All for One regress a couple times already. 
and there's still a few more students that he can go he cycles through because at the end there you saw it had um tailman anima and um tentacle so you had red riot you had um charge bolt shoot style pinky um was it was there more oh yeah yeah black whip he um bound him up using the cables like cellophane he got sugar man which was a um larger piece of mech on his foot for sato he got through about half the class so yeah he has support items for the other half there's also the fact that he has multiple related to midoriya because there was a shoot star so that could just be the actual action of kicking like he's using a Sato strength buff in a Midoriya way. That could have been. And the Black Whip is specifically the Midoriya one. I completely forgot to touch on the synopsis for this episode after I did my analysis in that. Which is, Togu returns the smile of Ochako, who tried to be friends with her. What does Togu do to the seriously injured Ochako? Meanwhile, All Might uses power developed by a friend to face all for one yeah you can see why i didn't read that out anyway back to whatever i was talking about but i think it continues on immediately into the next chapter well the next episode um it's been a while since i actually looked this up mha arcs See final war. Um, this would be the battle without a quirk, obviously. Trash cleanup. Um, obviously. Um. Trash cleanup is when all for one gets that brief, brief um bout of upper hand the first time and has the um flashback scene. Then you have all my using Pinky and that, and then the rest of the flashback scene, and it ends with the shot of the two heroes two villains the multi-generational battle and then yes it does continue into the next chapter in the next episode however I don't know if he um, finishes it in the next. Um, chapter 400, that has, yeah, so there's still, we're about, probably about halfway through this fight. And in... In case you didn't notice, I just said chapter 400. That was the second one I was looking at. So we're starting off at 399. Out of 424 for this arc, and then another six. I reckon... Now, hear me out. Yes, this may... No, I think I know when they're going to do it. I reckon this... 
let me just go okay final C My Hero Academia Animal Anime Final Season officially announced for 2025. Um, following the end of Season 7 in October 2024. Now there's only two more Saturdays in October. So I think... Either next week or the week after is the end of this season. Which could very well mean it is stopping where I think it's going to stop. Okay. So we're probably going to have 23 episodes in this season. Which actually makes it the second shortest. But they also had the four um, catch-up episodes. Before this started, so I don't know if they're counted, which would make it on par with the others. Yeah, who knows? Anyway, um, I've sort of spoiled a bit, but get ready for more hype in the next episode. And with that being said, I'll catch you in the next one.